I'm ready to change how business is done in Washington. But I can't do it by myself. I can't do it by myself. I need you. It's your time. You have to be ready for change. If, if I, even if I'm elected president, if you're not ready, if you're not putting pressure on members of Congress, if you're not holding your government accountable, then nothing's going to change. Nothing will change. If you're just waiting for me to solve every problem, and then when things don't get solved, then you go back to complaining, which is what we like to do. Sit on the couch and complain that nothing's going to change. But if you are ready for change, then we can go ahead and tell the lobbyists their days of setting the agenda in Washington are over. They have not funded my campaign, they will not run my White House, and they will not drown out the voices of the American people. If you're ready for change, if you believe that change is possible, then we can stop talking about 47 million people without health insurance. We can start doing something about it. You know, this is personal for me. My mother died of cancer when she was 53 years old. And, and that was hard enough. But to see her read insurance forms in the last months of her life because she had got, just got a new job and the insurance company was saying, maybe there's a pre-existing condition, maybe we don't have to reimburse you for your medical care. And watching the worry on her face. I know what it's like to see a loved one suffer, not just because they're sick, but because of a broken health care system, and it is wrong. And that's why I put forward a plan that says everybody will get health care that's as good as the health care as a member of Congress. And you won't be excluded for a pre-existing condition. And we'll subsidize you if you can't afford it so everybody can get it. And we'll emphasize prevention so we have a health care system and not a disease care system. And if you already have health insurance, if you already have health insurance, we are going to lower your premiums by $2,500 per year per family. And if you're a young person who doesn't yet have any health insurance, you can stay on your parents' health insurance until you're 25 years old. And, and we're not going to wait 20 years from now to do this or 10 years from now to do this. We will do this by the end of my first term as president of the United States of America. If you are ready for change, all of y'all up there too, if you are ready, if you are ready, then we can start giving every child the best education we have to offer from the day they are born to the day they graduate from college. We know what to do. The problem is not that we don't know how to fix our schools. The problem is we don't have the will to fix our schools. We don't have a sense of urgency about it. Our attitude is, well, that's somebody else's child. That's somebody else's problem. Well, let me explain. All our children have to learn. They are all our problem. We are the answer for all our children. And so we're going to invest in early childhood education to close the achievement gap, make sure every child is prepared when they start school. We are going to not just talk about how great teachers are, but we will reward them for their greatness by giving them higher salaries and giving them more support. We will maintain the highest standards because our children have to compete with kids in China and kids in India. So we're going to have high standards, especially in math and science, so they can go into the fields of technology. But we're not going to just maintain high standards by a single high-stakes standardized test, because we don't want teachers teaching to the test. We want our students learning art and music and poetry and history alongside math and science. We want them to get a well-rounded education. you, but I think it's about
about time we made college affordable for everybody. So I'm going to give a $4,000 tuition credit. Every student, every year. But, but, you're not going to get it for free. You're going to have to put in some time in community service or national service. Work at a homeless shelter. Work at a veteran's home. Join the Peace Corps. Learn a foreign language. Join the foreign service. We'll invest in you. You invest in America. Together we will march this country forward. I'm the President of the United States of America. If you're ready for change, we can restore a sense of fairness to our economy. You know, I believe in the free market, I believe in entrepreneurship, I believe in capitalism, but when a CEO is making more in 10 minutes than an ordinary worker is making in an entire year, then something is wrong. So we need to restore a sense of fairness to our economy, reward not just wealth, but work. Reward not just Wall Street, but Main Street. So we're gonna tell, we're gonna take those tax breaks from companies that ship jobs overseas. We will give those tax breaks to companies that invest right here in the United States of America. We're gonna roll back the Bush tax cuts on the wealthiest Americans, those making, you know, 250,000, 300,000. We're gonna close those tax breaks on them, give tax breaks to folks who are making $75,000 a year or less, offset their payroll tax by $1,000. Senior citizens who make less than 50 don't have to pay income tax. Get more of a mortgage reduction to people who are struggling to stay in their homes. That would be a fair tax code. That will foster economic growth from the bottom up. We're going to have trade policies that have labor standards and environmental standards so U.S. workers aren't being undermined by child labor, slave labor, unfair labor practices in other countries. And we'll have safety standards so our children aren't chewing on toys that have lead paint on them. We need to invest in the cities of America. If we can spend $9 billion a month in Iraq, we can spend some of that money right here in Baltimore. We can the roads and bridges and schools and hospitals and putting young people in the inner city back to work, give them a chance in life. And I won't just raise the minimum wage every 10 years, we're gonna raise the minimum wage to keep pace with inflation because if you work in this country, you should not be poor. And I will make sure that working people have a chance to live a decent life in America when I'm President of the United States. If you're ready for change, if you believe we can stop sending a billion dollars overseas because of our addiction to foreign oil, melting the polar ice caps in the park, we're going to cap greenhouse gases that can cause global warming. We're going to take some of the money that's generated from finding polluters and we're going to invest billions of dollars in the solar and wind and biodiesel. We'll, we'll hire young people who don't have a trade. We'll give them a trade, making our buildings more energy efficient, insulating homes, changing light bulbs, reducing our dependence on dirty power plants. 